Welcome back guys into this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Stripe account directly into your Shopify as a third party. Uh, Stripe is a powerful payment processor that allows you to accept payments online seamlessly. So let's see how you can actually do this. So first of all, uh, let's quickly review what Stripe and Shopify are. So Stripe is an online payment processor that enables businesses to accept credit cards, payment and other form of payments. Meanwhile, here into Shopify is a leading e-commerce platform that lets you build and manage your online store. So integrating this Stripe into Shopify allows you to handle transactions smoothly and secure. So to get started, first of all, you want, of course, to create your Stripe account. So if you don't have one yet, you can click into the link down below the description. You might be having a few rewards just by using the link down below. So I'm going to hit now into sign in. Uh, of course, you click into the link down below. You're going to be prompted to sign in or to sign up into your account. So enter your email as well as a passcode and here to sign in or in your case to sign up. Now that you have created your account, it's going to be really important to verify your email. You want to check your inbox for a verification email from Stripe and follow the link to verify your email address. Then we can look into your Stripe dashboard and you will be prompted to provide additional information such as your business details, bank account information, and much more elements. So this is going to be really crucial and important to verify your account in order to have access to all of these features inside Stripe. This is totally for free, but you need to provide real information of you. Now, the next thing is to set up your Shopify store. I'm going to go back into Shopify and I'm going to go for logged in. Once again, we have the link to download the description just in case you haven't claimed a Shopify uh, free trial and a few deals for a few months. Now that I have here my Shopify created uh, using an email as well as a passcode, I verify that email and I have now the dashboard. So to get started here, what I need to do is to make now the connection of this tribe with my Shopify. So first of all, I need to access the payment section. From your Shopify dashboard, let's locate the left part that says settings. And then here, I want to focus into the left part and focus into payments. Now in the payment provider section, you can find Stripe. If Stripe is not visible, you can go for choose a provider. Then select Stripe from the list. In my case, of course, since I'm in Mexico City, the best solution for me is Stripe. So I can select this option. And then what I need to do now is to make sure that I have my Stripe account cited in and the same uh, app tab, of course, in the new tab, but inside the same browser. And here's going to be asking me to select the account I would like to connect to Shopify. So since we don't have an account, we wanted to go for create a new account. And here it's going to be asking you just to fill all the information about your account, as well as the name, your passcode, the business address, the website, the phone number, the business location, and all of this. You don't have to worry about the name of the account, you can change this later. So I'm going to hit into connect. Now it says returning to Shopify, you'll be reacted in just a moment. So this is what I need to follow the prompts to authorize Shopify to connect with your Stripe account. This typically involves just confirming the business information and agree to the terms of services. Now with the Stripe connected to your Shopify, it's essential to test the payment integration to ensure everything is working correctly. So we can enable the test mode in Stripe. If I go back here into payments, you should see that I have the Stripe already been enabled. If I go for managed, I wanted to make sure that I have here the section that says Stripe active. Now I can enable which other cards I would like to accept. For example, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and PayPal or Apple Pay. I'm going to just disable American Express and hit now into save. Now let's enable the test mode to figure out if this one actually works. If I go back into Stripe, we can go here into the developer section and then the API key enable the view test data to switch to the test mode. So if I enable the test mode, this is going to be simulating um, information about transactions. So back into Shopify, we can place a test order using a credit card number provided by the Stripe test card details. So for example, let's say that I can go into learn more about the test mode and I needed to have the information provided of cards. So for example, here, how to use to use test credit cards and account. Right, so I click on it and I should have now this information, right? So I can go back here into Shopify. Let's look out for online store and let's just do one transaction to figure out if this actually works. 
back here into the test mode you should see the here into the transactions should be a peer into the transactions that you have just made and here you can see uh what appears as failed what appears as refunded and of course that is how it actually works these transactions just click in it check out what happened to it payment attempt with this account payment started uh is store card so you can see this is how it actually looks when it comes to checking out uh, your refunded or success and all of that so that is how guys we can actually um connect your stripe with the shopify we have covered everything from the setting up to the troubleshooting common issues and how we can test this uh, transaction mode when you're ready to get started just disable the test mode and then we're actually good to go so thank you once again for watching the video guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and hopefully we can all see you next time see you soon